Hello and welcome to Developing Developers. This is Abhishek and I am here with another course on Spring Boot. In this course, you will be learning how to make a simple API in Kotlin. So for this course, I will be making a movie application. It is a very simple application. We will be adding movies, retrieving the list of movies, then updating it and deleting it. Basically all the CRUD functions. I will show you a simple demo of the API. So I will open my Postman. In this, you can see all the four movies that I have added. You can even add a new movie. So let's add a new movie. Then you can update and delete it as well. So that's basically what we'll be doing in this course. This course in, in this course, you will be learning few things. That is first how to create and design an API. Secondly, you will understand how you can handle exceptions. How, what is the right way of handling exceptions? sending the response message how to perfectly design an api and so let's begin go to the spring initializer page that is start.spring.io then select the project type as gradle language as kotlin i will be using the spring boot version 2.4.3 for this example set the group type for me it will be tech dot developing developing developer and the artifact will be movie api then add the dependencies. You need three dependencies. One is Spring Web, Spring Data JP dependency for the database, and for the database we'll be using H2 database. So add the dependency as well. You can even check how your project will be. So click on Explore and you can see the project. So click on Source. You can see all the. You can see the main file that is the application file. You can even see the Gradle. You can see all the Gradle dependencies that we have added and after that you can simply click on generate. It will download the project for you. Once you have downloaded the project just open it and extract it. I am using Intel IntelliJ IDEA right now and wait for the Gradle to build. Once you have done your project should look like this. The project structure is pretty simple right now. It is having just an application class that is this, this class then it has application properties that that is empty right now then the gradle file it has these dependencies that we need for this project that is starter data jpa starter web it has a uh, dependency for testing and it even has the dependency for jackson uh, jackson module for kotlin now let's run the project just to make sure that everything is fine the application is running as expected let's create a simple get endpoint a hello world endpoint so for that add an annotation rest controller i'll explain all the annotations and why are we using which annotation and what is the purpose of a particular annotation which will return a hello world string then rerun the application you can switch to the browser and go to the endpoint and it will say hello world so our endpoint is working fine so that's it for this video from the next video we'll start with making our api and don't worry i'll explain all the annotations like the use of rest controller get mapping all the annotations so stay tuned and wait for the next video. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye and happy coding.